everybody, welcome to the PowerCast, live with you every Tuesday night with the man, the myth, the legend, Eric Vasquez. All three? All three. Man, myth, and legend. Wow. Man, myth, and legend. Eric Vasquez and myself, of course, Dave Lamel. We are Team Powerhouse, and we are excited to be with you guys this week. A very intimate program today. Intimate? Intimate. Okay. We're getting very intimate. It's a real estate podcast with real estate information and open to you, the public, to talk about the questions you may have about what's going on in the market today. We talk a lot about a lot of things. We've got a lot of famous people, a lot of great uh, businesses on here. We've had a lot of amazing shows. We want to start about what happened this past week or two with the national fame. Yeah, so how area. about Connecticut, huh? Connecticut. Two national championships. Unbelievable. Uh, representing, let's start with basketball. I mean, yep. UConn men. UConn men. I mean, ranked number five or four was it? I think they were number five. Well, in the in the tournament, they were a four. Four. So they were a four in their bracket. Yeah. They uh, the the amount of upsets that happened in this whole game was uh, competition was pretty amazing. Um, uh, our, our, our heartfelt sorrows to FAU, um, a great team and a great run they had over there. But UConn finishing FAU, FAU it's Florida, Florida Atlantic. Atlantic. Yeah, right by Danny School down the street. They did. Uh, an, they were like not supposed to be where they were. They just last second buzzer beater. It was pretty cool stuff. But yeah, UConn did an amazing job. Um, the amount of hustle this team has. You know, the, the team is so diverse on so many levels, from skill levels, speed levels. Uh, their their three point shots, their their free inside drives. game, outside game. Inside, yeah, they are really a diverse team in every aspect of a basketball is. And you know what I noticed is I'm that I'm gonna say his name wrong. Which one? But, um, uh, I'm, I think he was. The, I think he's a center. He's either a center or a power forward. Uh, I'm gonna uh, tell you Sunogo. what. Sunogo. I don't want to say it wrong either, but I'm gonna maybe doing the UConn basketball con. Type in S U. S U. Oh, it's Dave's first time with a keyboard, folks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Sunogo, Adam Adama Sunogo. That's Sunogo. Yeah, he's what I said. Pretty, pretty amazing. Uh, what does it say? My, forward, right? Yeah, he's yeah. not a center, but he plays like a center. He's a big one, kid. One of my favorite players was Joey Calcaterra. This guy was unbelievable with his stealing the ball, three point shots, fire beneath the table. This this whole team is so electrifying. Um, Andre Jackson and Devon Donovan Kling, Klingen. He's a freshman, yeah. a seven foot freshman. These guys, this guy could be the next biggest star in the NBA. They're talking about him all over ESPN. And talk about ESPN following UConn so hard and talking about these ESPN players. ESPN located in, in Connecticut, Connecticut, right? I mean, pretty cool stuff. Are there anybody have any questions yeah. or comments? What some questions or comments we got over there? Patrick Pagano asks. Um, Patrick what Pagano. Is, what is the point of what is the point of coming soon? Uh, I think Patrick Pagano missed the beginning part. <laughs> but Patrick Pagano, thank you so much for asking. Coming soon <laughs> means in real estate that... <laughs> well, there's, listen, there's, there's, there's two ways a house hits the market. Right. It either just pops up one day. Yes. You have no forewarning. Yes. And then you have a coming soon. Yes. So the coming soon, and, and I guess it's I guess it's the... The whatever the method uh, that real debt listing agent follows, I'm either going to run it for a couple of days, yep. build a following, let it let it blow up day one, day two, day three, or um, you can do the David Lamel method, which is just sneak it right in, in the middle of the night. Boom. You wake up in the morning, there it is, and then it's chaos going crazy, and everybody's coming to your house. Yeah, just and point. then I'm getting phone calls <laughs> that I want to see this house today. <laughs> What house? There's no house on my street that's listed. Right. It's so funny you said that. And thank you, Patrick Pagano, for reaching out that question there. Any other questions out there from real estate questions? Uh, none, none related to real estate. Okay. Okay. We have a lot of people left to make jokes, silly, having some we fun. We got a silly one. We got some silly. A silly one. Okay. We like that we have silly questions. Do, do you like dubstep, David? What is it? Do you like dubstep? I'm not even sure if I know what dubstep is dubstep. yet. Dubstep. <laughs> I might like dubstep. No, you don't do like I, dubstep. Do I, get, do I Google it? <laughs> do I wear it? Hold on. You know, it's not. It's a type of music. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I want to see what is that from Daniel? Because no. that's no. some some random on TikTok. I'm happy they're asking. Some rando dub. Uh oh. Step. Don't play anything copyrighted. What is dubstep? Oh, is that? Uh, it's like, like 
like yes, dubstep. Yes, I like dubstep. As a matter of fact, there's a... What a is that? It looks like yeah, Star Wars I don't know. Darth Vader over Let's here. See. I, Who's the like main dubstep guy? Marshmallow, uh, Marshmallow right? I thought it was Skrillex. Skrillex. Skrillex? Or Marshmallow, I think does. Oh, it was a commercial. Oh, no, you can't play anything copyrighted, Ben. Okay, moving swiftly along. Hold on, how do I... Hold on. Skip ads. See why I don't... <laughs> Hold on, this is not copyrighted. Yeah, it is. This is pretty cool. I like it. Let's set some dub. <laughs> this is good stuff. The views are Sounds like our nice. intro. I like dubstep. Thank you for asking there on TikTok. Thank you for bringing to his attention dubstep. Yeah, right.